Risky Behavior. Yo, what's up? We're back. Welcome to Risky Behavior. Um, Today, we're talking about lies. Talking about them liars. Okay, so um, as usual, we'll talk about a risky behavior. Lying is definitely a risky behavior. You want to watch out for that. Um, you definitely want to stay away from people who lie, especially lie for no reason. And then when you catch them in a the lie, they try to make up a reason as to why they lied to you. So in the video we're about to watch, Kendra G show is her singles live show. People call in who are single. Some of them are married, though, which in this case, a married woman had called into the show before. When Kendra G asked her was she married, she lied and said she wasn't married and even gave a fake date in which she says, well, I got divorced on this date. It was a lie. Her husband called into the show and exposed that they were indeed still married. And even during the recording of this singles live that we're about to watch, she is married still. So here on Risky Behavior, I just like to talk about things surrounding relationships, whether it be romantic relationships or friendship relationships. I just like to talk about behavior that is risky It's risky behavior. And the reason I call it risky behavior is because I don't like calling people bad people, evil people or anything. I would just make it easy for people to deal with by just saying, hey, your behavior is risky, meaning it could lead to negative outcomes. We'll put it that way. OK, so I want to start off with my whole spiel before we jump into the video. Cool. The essence of trust in any form of communication is rooted in honesty. Thus, when someone lies, regardless of their rationale, the fundamental breach of that trust occurs. A lie, irrespective of its intentions, be it to protect someone's feelings, avoid conflict, or manipulate outcomes, is still a departure from the truth. Engaging in discussions with someone known for lying can be counterproductive and potentially harmful, as it fosters an environment where deceit is tolerated or overlooked. This not only undermines the integrity of the communication, but also risks normalizing dishonesty, making it difficult to distinguish between truth and falsehood. Therefore, maintaining a distance from those who habitually lie is crucial in preserving the sanctity of trust and ensuring that our interactions are grounded in authenticity and reliability. Cool. Now, I read that because I like what it had to say. Because quite simple, um, people like to say, well, oh, it was a little lie. You know, little lie, big lie. Lie's still a lie. And it's not about the size of the lie. It's you rationalizing the lie. Oh, I said it because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Well, you could then take that and apply that to everything, right? Because if your friend is wearing something that doesn't really look good on them, you could lie. That's a little lie. Hey. Yeah, you look good in that dress. <laughs> you know, I, I put on some weight, you know, people saying, oh, I'm like, you know, trying to bulk up a little bit. But I had on some pants. They was too tight. And everyone that seen me in those pants said, yeah, you might need to give those away. Right. So someone could easily say, I said you look nice in the dress and I lied to you because I, I just didn't want to hurt your feelings. But that's a little lie. But if that's your thought and how you process things, you could easily apply that to anything. I lied about cheating. Why? I didn't want to hurt your feelings. I took money from you and I lied about taking that money from you. Why? I didn't want to hurt your feelings. So it doesn't matter. 
the size of the lie. It's the intent. Well, I don't know. Did they say it was in the intent part? I don't know. But it's how you rationalize the reasoning of you telling the lie, basically. You see what I'm saying? So it's the wall behind the wall, behind the wall, behind the fifth dimensional wall, seen through the third eye of the reason of that lie is what I'm trying to say. I'm on my woke stuff now. I am. So without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and hop into the video and like Kendra G seemed like a look like she seemed pissed that this woman lied to her. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this video and keep in mind the word, the topic, the behavior we're discussing today is the liar, the art of lying, being a liar, no matter how little, no matter how big a lie is a lie. It's a lie. Veronica, girl. Veronica. Hey, cousins. Veronica. Veronica. I don't. I don't met a man by the name of Rudy who said, "Hold on, hold on, hold on." Child, you and like, everybody hold on, else. Hold on, hold on, Veronica. Hold on, Veronica, because I got to do you the way I did him. Is this your husband? Soon to be ex, but yes, I know him. I do. Is this your wife? Legally, yes. This, this, this is your wife. You guys aren't divorced. No. She said that she was divorced. We had, we, no, our, we have our first um, mediation April 4th. So this is, so you are still legally married to him? Unfortunately, yes. So you lied to us. I didn't lie to you. So here's the thing. I didn't know what your, I had, I, I, there's no shade to you. I didn't know who you were. I'd never seen your show. It was the first time I ever joined your show. Somebody kept Girl, sending me. Girl, that got nothing to do with a question of you. I didn't know. This is what I'm saying is I didn't know your requirements to be on the show was like, oh, you. But but that that don't matter yet. anyway. So, so right, okay. The question, yes, yes, I mean, yes, yes, yes. Yes. So yes. you lie because the question I, I was, no, are I'm you divorced. divorced? Hold on. Whether you knew me or not, it ain't about shade. Questions are questions, and the direct question was, are you divorced? Okay. You said, let's hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Okay, let's roll with it. Let me finish, Veronica. I'm gonna let you respond, but I gotta finish. We have a grown woman talk. Because you want to start off lying again. Now, here's the response. Yes. I don't give a damn if you never heard of me. The question is simple. I asked you where you divorced, and then I asked you when you got divorced. Okay, Have you ever been married? I have, yeah. Divorced. When did you get divorced? Say again, honey. I'm divorced. Divorced. When did you get divorced? Last June. June 2023. So you said June. So I, that's why I said, do she think she's really divorced? So regardless of you met me from that day, the question was direct and clear. Are you divorced? When did you get divorced? The reason I asked the when is because people like yourself can be separated at times. So I asked the when. And then I think we brought it up two times. So you should just admit you lied. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay, that's fine. I wasn't cl completely clear about my divorce date, but yeah, I... And she continues to lie. Even she knows she was recorded. It was played for her. Why did you lie, Veronica? Oh, well, you know, I didn't really know who you were. <laughs> what? <laughs> that ain't no damn good reason. Like, what are you talking about? You're a liar. Oh, you know, I wasn't, you know, I, I wasn't as, you know, I didn't, you know, she can't even think of a reason. She just a stuttering, trying to come up with a way to wiggle out of being caught. And see, and you know what's so crazy about this is your behavior, that man, her husband slash to her ex-husband he could say anything he wants to say about her and i would believe it and she could say something about him and it could be true and it's like the little boy who cried wolf i i would no longer believe a word that came out of her lips 
Because if she would have just said, hey, you know, I did lie and I want to apologize for that. Um, It was a terrible marriage. And to me, once I said it was over, it was over. And I was using a word that I shouldn't have been using. And I can see that it was dishonest, you know, but to continue to, to just lie and not even fess up like me. Once I'm caught, I'm caught. It don't matter to me. You caught me. You caught me. It, it's like ridiculous. And that's why we're talking about the behavior of lying. It's risky. In my mind, so you I thought you were divorced. You, you, you think well, you're divorced. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's living with his ex-wife. He's living with his first wife. Like you left here a year ago. And unfortunately, it's a technicality because in South Carolina, you have to be separated for a year before you can file for divorce. Now, we were going to falsify and file in Florida and say that, hey, we were, you know, he's going to file in Florida so we can have an immediate divorce. But because of other things on his part, he decided, no, I'm going to try to file in South Carolina or we would have already been divorced. This is just a drag out thing. But we don't speak. We don't talk. We have no interaction. We are done. We have nothing to talk. We have no kids. We have no ties. We have nothing together. We are done completely. But yeah, let me call it that. That's you that? Let's just say that I went to another country and I didn't speak to my wife while I was over there. I got um, facial reconstruction while I was over there. I um, painted my skin blue, so now I'm a blue man over there. Uh, let's see what else I can do. I can put a lace front on while I'm over there. Uh, I could take off one of my feet while I'm over there. I could take the one foot I got left, turn that backwards while I'm over there. Hmm. I could glue uh, a stone on the middle of my forehead over there. I can do a lot of things over there. But if someone says, are you married? You still married. Nothing what she said has anything to do with the fact that she's still married and you coming on a dating show. People need to know that. Why? Because if someone's going to date you, they need to know about what your situation is and if they want to stick around for that. It's just a common courtesy to just tell hey, you know, I'm separated. It's getting drug out. That's a hard and tough process to go through. Somebody you're dating might not want to deal with that. Give that person the option to walk away if they want to. And she still can't let it go. She's still lying in my mind. Like, whatever. No, what was she going to say? No, I was going to say, but that's that's fine. I, I'll let you hold that. That's okay. Yeah, I'm technically, yes. I'm, I'm technically, yes, still married. So did you... Are I'm sorry, but I hate when people do that. I'm going to let you hold that. You ain't let me hold nothing. You lied, and I'm telling the truth. You're not letting me have anything. Liar. Don't let liars. That's another thing. Don't let liars act like they're giving you anything or they got the upper hand. I caught you in a lie. You are a liar. You're not giving me anything because I have the truth on my side. Were you aware that you had a mediation in April? Yes, I'm aware. So then I'm you know when you talked to me that you were still married. I literally just got the letter for the mediation in the mail. So today. when you talked to me, but I, what I'm saying is if you knew you had a mediation, you knew you were. I didn't know that. I just got it today. You just, you had, so, me. so you had no idea you had a mediation in April. Mm -mm, I just got it today. Fact, did you, let me ask you this. Today. When you talked to me, if a guy, if a guy proposed to you, did you feel as though you could legally marry him? Nobody would propose to me. Hence why I said no, I no, want no, to take I'm my time. I'm asking you, if a guy proposed to you. I told you we already proved she's a liar, so you can't believe it. I just got it. And then she does this. She with papers and stuff. What look, hold on. Anybody can do that. What's that mean? Was she looking for the date? <laughs> Why did she do that? She you know what? I paused at the right moment. Look at her in her eyes. She looked like a liar. Would you feel as though you were able to legally marry him? Sure. I would say you just have to wait till after June. We can get married, but it have to be after June. Well, you knew it. 
Veronica, you trying to answer around these questions, child. I'm not answering. You asking me? I'm no, answering no, the question. No, no, no. If, if somebody proposed, okay, okay, so okay, so you're right. So therefore, you knew that Kendra, they would already know. Like, hey, listen, here's my situation. Here's what really happened. Here's the story. Here's what's gone on. If you're trying to propose, we can get married, but unfortunately, until after this date, June 18th of 2024. I, my court date is not, we're not legally divorced until then. So, okay, Veronica, either way, why not just say you were separated when I asked you when you were divorced? I, in my mind, we're divorced. We're divorced. And and it will all, it's going to all come out in the wash because in, in case, I don't know if you didn't see all of the messages that all of this, this, there's been a plethora of women who've been commenting on your TikTok, your Instagram, and your YouTube about their relationships with him during our marriage. The relationships that they had with him during well, our marriage. Wait, but here's the deal: he didn't come on my show, and all I care about is coming on my show. I can't listen. I don't know you, and I don't know Rudy. But That's the right. On my show, but the rule on my show is a very clear rule: if you're separated, wait till you're officially divorced, and you can come back again. And like I said, I did. And again, and like I said, I didn't know. So what he's doing and what y'all doing—that's really y'all business. But when you come on my Correct. show, you make it my business. Now, if he would have called me. And I would have asked him if he's still married and he would have said he's separated. I would say, well, we can't continue because that's the rule. But let's go on. I want you to fact check some other things that he said. Do you have three children? She said she had two kids. She has three kids. She has a daughter who's 26. She has a granddaughter um, who's 10. So that, that was inconsistent. Do you have any children? I do. I have two boys. Two boys. How old are your 10. boys, though? Huh? 17 and 10. I don't believe a word coming out of her 17 mouth. and 10. Are they both by the same man? No, they're not. Here's the thing with a lot of that stuff. So um, because it has now become a legal matter, because as you know, in the state of South Carolina, libel and slander is punishable by misdemeanor uh, fines. There can be um, civil ramifications. Do you have three children, Veronica? It is. I, I never said that I didn't. I have three children. And on my I social asked you how many cases, kids you had. You said you had two. First of all, I don't, children to me ch are, ch they're children. I have an, an adult child who is not in my household. So when you say children, if a man is going to date me, he's going to date me and my two children. The two children I have in my home. I have a child that lived, lived in my house in 10 years. She's 27 years old. She's almost 30. I, I, that is an adult. Like women, I have to ask the most direct question to get a, a honest answer. So do I have to start saying how many children have come out? How many people have come out your body in order to get the real answer? Like, I have to really go No, or maybe just in. Hell no, Kendra. You ain't got to do that. You don't. She's a liar. Cat Williams said it best. No one knows why liars lie. Okay? They just do it. She know what you meant. Look, if she... This is the thing that's irritating. How in the hell do you try to act like people stupid? I think people that lie like this, they have forgotten that the rest of us are human, that you're not the first person we've talked to. You could talk to anybody. Hey, how many kids you got? They just tell you how many kids they got. And then they'll give you their ages, but... You have, your children are your children. And especially like me having a black mama, you don't never get too big or too grown for your mama. You always your mama, baby. You know what I mean? So she know what that meant. Unless it's just something wrong with her or something. You know, I don't want to call people names, but that's a pretty clear cut question. People know what that means. How many kids you have? And it wouldn't matter if your child was grown or not, because if someone is coming into your life, they're still going to have to. OK, say she meet a guy online and she's dating him, whatever. Boom. So they meet up to go on a dinner date. Boom. He's under the impression that she only has two kids. And then all of a sudden, one day she goes, well, hey, you know. Could you come by the house one day for a Sunday dinner? You know how, you know, but we black folk love Sunday dinner. So he'd be like, oh, come to the house for Sunday dinner. You're like, all right, cool, whatever, boom. Then she goes, yes, my daughter wants to meet you. And you're like, what? Huh? I thought you said you only had two kids, two boys. You 
You see what I'm saying? It's just, oh, well, no, I thought you were just talking about how many kids I had in the house with me. No, I'm trying to get to know you. I, I want to know how many kids you got. So when your daughter gets married or your daughter gives birth, that she's not a factor anymore. When you tell the new guy in your life, hey, I got to go to the hospital. My daughter's having my grandbaby. Like, what are you talking about? That's still an important part of your life. That's still your kid, whether they live in the house or not. You just say, hey, I got three kids. One is grown and out of the house and there are two living at the house. You just tell the whole truth. Why are you lying? And I think in some ways you're just hurting yourself because at her age and depending upon the guy who she date that may be around her age or a little bit older, that could be actually something that they could um, bond, you know, around saying, hey, I got an older child that's out of school. And then the guy is like, oh, I got an older child out of school. And, man, it was tough getting them through high school. You know what I'm saying? People laugh and talk about things like that when they have shared experiences. So I don't even see the point of why you would even lie about that or not even um, say that. It's like a silly, it's just silly. And then think even, even if we're going with we believe her, it's still an important thing to mention to somebody because that whoever you date next will be with they're going to meet you, especially, you know, older kids. They tend to um, turn around and become protective of their parents. So you're talking about you got a daughter, 27, 28. She's definitely showing up and wanting to know, like, who's dating my mom? Like, she wants to meet the guy. I'm pretty sure. So. In total, bitch, when you're saying children, because if you're on a dating no, show and somebody's going to date honey. you, they're no, going to Monica. date your children. I have an, this now, is an you adult child. Back. I and she's not a secret and make on my social better. media page uh, on my social media page my grandchild and my child are both on my social media listed all, me, okay, all let me throughout ask you my this. page let me ask you this. so there was how no denial about that how many people have come out of your body three so that's how i have to start asking women questions obviously that's how you would like to phrase that's to how you would like to phrase your how question how many people have come out of your body in order to get the real number of how many people you birthed that's really sad that I have to go that deep it's with a 43-year-old woman. It's not sad. You are a 43-year-old woman. Now, do you, you want to have the conversation or do you want to? You didn't have this energy Veronica, for me. Veronica, if you were you 21, didn't have this energy I would expect that. So have the correct energy for me because I didn't come at you wrong like that, Kendra. You but come no, at me Veronica, with all this extra energy. The reason energy. the energy right it's now is unnecessary. It's because, unnecessary. No, it's unnecessary. It really is. It's unnecessary. Here's the deal, Veronica. Somebody was allowed to come onto your platform and slander somebody. We can't talk. You're absolutely right. We can't. So go ahead. Go ahead. It's your platform. Here's the deal. Whether you knew me or not, you call me. I don't know you if you never call me. Rule number one, <laughs> plain and simple. You decided to call me. Once you call me, you make you, your business, our business, the cousin's business, watching. Now, I'm just gonna say, I had no idea that I had to ask a 43-year-old woman how many people came out of her body in order to get the real answer of how many people she birthed because children, she's past that age. That, to me, if you were 21, I would expect this dialogue. But to be a woman that's one year younger than me, that's kind of sad and pathetic, just being honest. But that, and that's your opinion. But I don't have, this is a grown woman. This is an adult who, this is an adult who doesn't live in my home, who hasn't lived in my home in, in probably almost 10 years. She hasn't lived in my home. So when you say children, to me, that is a child. If somebody is going to interact with me, they're interacting with two children who are actually in my home. This is an adult who lives five states away. I don't consider that to be a child. I don't, I've never neglected her. She's very much um, a part of my, she's on my social media. Like, it's not like I'm negating the fact that I ever have had a child. So, you know, th and this is technicality. Here's another thing. Oh, she lives here and not here. Hello, nobody ever says, I might as well just drop the pin and gave my address. I'm in this area. You don't exactly say, hey, this is where I am. It's like somebody who lives in Hollywood. You don't know where Hollywood, Florida is. So you would say, oh, I'm in the Miami area. Oh, I'm in Miami. Because most people know that as a landmark. That's not a lie. For safety reasons, you don't say, especially when you live in a small town, oh, I live here. So uh, some of these things were so petty and the fact that she was just like followed up on them, it was just absurd to me. But again, slander and libel is a real thing. And in the state of South Carolina, it is considered a misdemeanor. It is, and I'm, I have to be cautious on what I say because the matter now is with my attorney. However, a lot of that stuff was false and incorrect. 
And there are women who have been trying to reach out to you who also have receipts and pictures and videos that are time stamped during the time of our marriage who can attest to saying, hey, well, the reason well, I, for I the already addressed that. I already addressed that. The, the bottom line is this. What I don't know you who, who Rudy called me. That's just the fact. Right, but what like, did you address? Hold on, let me, right. let me finish. <laughs> let me respond to what you just said. I'm not saying Rudy is this Prince Charming man, out rightfully so, but the point of the matter is Rudy did not call on my show and tell me that he was <laughs> not married and I proceeded. That's all that matters. Now what y'all do in y'all life? <laughs> you know what she's saying? Um, basically, what she is doing is this. Kendra is saying, Veronica, you lied to me. Why would you lie to me? And Veronica's excuse is, well, Rudy cheated on me and he lied to me. Did you know he's a liar? What that got to do with you lying to me? Seriously? You go up to somebody and say, hey, man, you know, when I walked out the room, you stole $20 out of my wallet. Uh, well, um, I ain't steal $20 out your wallet. Yes, you did. I got your own video and you played them the video. And then they go, who told you I stole that $20 from you? I'm like, Mike told me you stole $20 out of my wallet. And so I went and checked the camera. And they go, oh, but did you know that Mike robbed me last month? What that got to do, what you getting robbed got to do with you robbing me? Like, what is she talking about? She the I don't know what guy gonna gonna date her. I'm sure somebody will. You know, it ain't like she's some ugly woman or something, but I would be cautious. That's your business. I'm not here to defend his character. He didn't try to call me to be a guest on my show. If you want to fact check, there's another you you busy? Hello? Hello? We can't hear you. She's such a liar. Now she's trying to um, pretend like her audio ain't working. See, now I don't trust anything. I don't even believe that her audio is not really working. Oh, my. oh how about now? Um, I can hear you now. Sorry, I got some paid questions, but I, I'm not done yet. My do you headphones. want to respond to? Do you want to respond to the fact whether or not you had surgery? What in the world? When she said she never had surgery, I'm like, what? Like you had just had surgery when I met you. Like we met in Haiti, and you had just had surgery in Dominican Republic. Like how is it that you didn't? But the navel never lies. If you look at a person's navel, it won't lie. What? Wait, I do remember what? that she told us her body was real. What? what? No. Let's do the kids you can, Veronica. I do want to preface that I was in pajamas. I just got out of the shower and I was in pajamas, but okay. Well, I didn't say pajamas, but what? Are your tattoos are real? Oh, you have a lot they of are. tattoos. Yeah, they are all real. Okay, you have a nice, ba you have a nice body. I do want to answer this real quick, though. This is, you could tell this is my natural body. Everybody's got something to say. I you know, everything matches and you could tell and if you can go look at my social media and you can tell I've been like this all my life. I'm Afro Latina and if y'all know Latin women and black women are naturally built this way. So yeah. Okay. So anybody that had concerns about her body, it is authentic. She's never had no body surgery. This is the body her she got it from my mama and her daddy. My mama on my uh, social media, you can see her too. Miss Olivia was a hottie in her day too. So, her, her I have husband said he got the front about doctor. what I say because again, it's at this point it's a legal matter because. Well, you call me, girl. So what you call me for? You want, I'm asking you questions, so you don't want to answer okay, that. So because that was something. Hold on. That hold was on, something you, you, you offered. Put a dip on your chip, Kendra. Like, don't have that energy with me. Like, don't you didn't have that energy. Well, with no, me. Veronica, I'm Put gonna have energy with you because I'm getting irritated because the fact of the matter is you call me. You call me lying. You Kendra. are me lying. So Kendra. if you don't expect, if, if you if you don't expect this type of energy, I don't know what you would expect. You literally caught and told lies on my show. This is a but did I, show. But did I tell the lies? Yeah. You don't know that. You're, you're you at did. this point, you you're did. calling you me a liar, and you don't know if I did. This Veronica, just two different, 
Veronica, are you are you a part of this interview? Are you a part I, of this interview? Are you a part of it? Because it seems like this is the Kendra. Okay, Al Veronica, what would listen? You, listen, honey, I'm not gonna play these games with you. You just admitted <laughs> to two lies in this interview. How how is that a lie? That is not a lie. You you admitted that you are married and you told us that you were divorced. That's a lie. That's not. We're, what, what what's going on here? Okay, That's so, an admission right, of lying. That. Anything else is not a lie. Like you don't just like when you come out on a public platform, you for me to say, oh, I live here, but not here. I live. Okay, that I listen. That's okay. And that's the point. And she's struggling with that part of it. Okay, I did lie, but anything else after that is not a lie, isn't it? Though. You started off with a lie and now you're upset because we don't believe anything else after that. So, yes, everything else after that is a lie. We don't believe you, murder. You need more people. We're not talking about that. I didn't even bring that up. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the basic where everything begins is you said you were divorced and you are legally married and that is a lie. We can fact check the fact that you are legally married. You, you told can. a lie, Veronica. And that's fine. If that's not what you want to roll with, that's okay. Well, so we're not gonna not what I'm about rolling with. It's just the facts of what it is. It's the fact. That's fine. So we're not going to roll. We're not going to talk about any of the lies that Rudy told. Because Rudy came on here and just lied, 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 lied. And he was allowed to just talk openly for 20 minutes. And you never interrupted him. You never gave him this this hostile energy. This man was allowed to come on to your she platform. She keep attacking Rudy. And say whatever he wanted to say. Libel, slander was able to come on here and say whatever he wanted to well, say. Well, like I said with Rudy, and I said it several times, I have to use allegedly because he said something about a video. And mm -hmm. he was ready to show the video. Now, I didn't allow him to show the video. I and don't I, know if it's, yeah, huh? Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Thank you for that. You guys haven't spoken since July of last year, like no communication. Well, that's when she sent me the video of her having a threesome with a chick going down on her. And a dude in the background. What? Right now, those are some those are some tough allegations. Okay. Now. We have to, I have to use the word allegedly because I don't know if that's that's a true. She sent you a video. No, you're not. Gonna, I'm, I'm gonna prohibit you from showing the video. Yeah. So I'm gonna prohibit you from showing the video. We we won't do that. We won't do that. We won't do that. What? We don't. Do, we won't do that. But do you want to right now say if that video exists? The video exists and it was after the fact, the date that we are legally separated. The paperwork that says, gives the date of the date that we are considered by the court legally separated, that video occurred after we were legally separated. Okay. After. Now, have, his, you ever had, have you ever had body surgery? His indiscretions, I, again, I have to be cautious. His, I have to be cautious. Like I said, I can't say a whole lot because it's with my attorney, but there are several women who have tried to reach out to you who want to come on the platform and say, Hold okay, well, they can. Well, 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 here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. You got to understand this. You could be in your emotions and you could be in your feelings. I'm not. But, oh, oh, hold on. I'm, not. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm, I'm trying to do the listen and talk back rule because we can't talk over each other. But the fact of the matter is, the old, Rudy, again, and I said to him, I don't know him. I don't know you. It's y'all word against y'all. But the fact of the matter is, you just admitted that he is still legal, you, legally your husband. And that's why he came on to expose the truth. Now I'm asking you this question three times. I'm gonna ask it again. Okay. Because you so volunteered. Me... You you actually volunteered. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second, Veronica. Hold on one second. I never asked women if they had body surgery. First of all, what you you, what you, you are, hold on, Veronica. Let me finish my statement. I never asked women if they had body surgery. You decided to volunteer that your body was natural. You got it from your mama. Who want to answer this real quick though? This is. You could tell this is my natural body. Everybody's got something to say. I, you know, everything matches, and you could tell. And if you can go look at my social media, and you could tell I've been like this all my life. So right now, 
Have you ever had any type of surgery or lipo? And again, I have to be cautious of what I say because everything was, this video has been downloaded and sent to my attorney, and I do have an attorney. Why can't you answer that simple question, though, Veronica? I, because I have to be cautious about what I say. You have to be cautious of whether or not you have surgery? I have to be cautious about what I say because, again, I know, but I'm just asking, I'm just saying, why, why can't you, I mean, first of all, you, hold on, let me ask you this, though. Let me just say this, but let me say this so I can understand. I never was going to ask you if you had body surgery. I don't ask women that question. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Hold on, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish, Veronica. Let me finish. 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 I'm telling you facts. Wait, hold on. Well, 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 Monica, on Monica, I, I, I want to continue, but we're not going to continue like this if you're not going to admit. As I say, I never asked women, I never asked women if they had surgery. You offered to volunteer that your body was natural. So if you offered to volunteer that your body was natural, why can't you just so let me, admit to it or not admit to it well, right now? I just want to understand this. At first, you were caught up on the fact that, well, are you married or are you not married? Your man came on here and said he was this, he was that. And so you're not allowing me to speak to anything. What you're concerned about is what you're concerned about, and I get it, this is entertainment for you and you want ratings and you want No, food. I'm just what trying to get that check. I'm just trying you to get want, that check. You want the mess and you want the tea. What you don't want no, to do. Girlfriend, you call me. I don't know you. I don't want the mess and the tea. Y'all call me up. I don't call nobody, honey. I call no one. You call me. Plain and simple. What I'm doing right now is I'm asking fact check questions. Right. Like I said, so hold on, let me say it again. Okay, but did you fact me, check him? Did you fact check him when he came on your show? Did you fact well, check him? Only way I can fact check him. Only way I can fact check him. Listen, did you ask only way him? I can fact check did him is that she talk to you. Listen, Veronica, this is what did I'm doing right now. Him? This is what I'm doing right now. You're the fact check. I'm giving you the opportunity <laughs> She's to so fact silly. check. But you're not. I can only you fact check with you, Veronica. Are you really giving me the opportunity? Are you really giving me the opportunity? Veronica, Veronica, here's the deal. I'm going to say if she giving her opportunity after opportunity after opportunity, but then if she don't want to answer the question and be exposed in another lie, she just says, "Oh, I, you know, because of my lawyers and like <laughs> all we asked was, well, I didn't ask, but Kendra asked, is so is your body real? No surgery." Oh, you know, because of the lawyers and, and I do have a lawyer, you know, I, I can't answer. Um, I can't answer anything. Seriously. Why even come on this show? She. She has no shame. Like, if I lied, I'll be honest with you. I wouldn't have come on this show. I would have just, he said what he said. I would have left it alone. And I would have just saw that person in court. But I would not come on the show and think that's going to fly. Like, this is movie stuff. And I think people think it worked in real life. Because on the movies, the character that's being questioned will say things like that. Well, oh, you know, because of my lawyer, I can't. I can't address that. And then people think they can use that in real life. Like people like we're that stupid, like we're that ignorant that we would fall for that. It's not working. And that's something, that's something so silly. Why would that even be a, a point of what they say? some legal issue or something like if you had body work you had body work done a lot of people don't have body work at this point that that doesn't even matter like i don't even think you can make fun of somebody for that or fault them for that you know if you had body work done you had body work done whoopee but the fact that you lie and say you didn't do it and you volunteered that is the part where someone's saying but once again, when we talk about lies and what's big and what's small, that's like a small lie, you know, that people would not even pay attention to it. It's just that her husband came online and said, hey, she lied about being divorced. We're married. OK, that's a lie. Mm. Now, that's kind of a big lie. And so then, oh, remember when she told you she only had two kids? She got three. OK, boom. That's another lie. Then we get to this. 
she had surgery. When she told y'all her body was natural, she actually had surgery. So it's a insignificant lie when you think about what's going on in the world. A lot of people are getting surgeries. But when you put that with, it's kind of like when you go to court. A circumstantial evidence by itself is nothing, right? But when you, okay, this this piece of evidence is circumstantial, but once I add it up, hmm, I think we got a case. So it's too much circumstantial evidence against her, and she's just getting caught in all her lies. It's just back to back to back to back to back. If she had just lied about one thing, but she's getting caught in too many lies, and she's sitting here talking about, oh, you need fact checking. We are fact checking right now. He said it was a fact that you had surgery. And so we're checking with you, checking that fact. And you say, well, I can't answer that question. Okay. Well, you won't allow us to fact check you. So I guess you're okay with us thinking that you're lying all the time. I'm going to digress. I'm going to digress and take I'm going to say it for the first. I'm going to say it for the fourth time. You volunteer the information about not having surgery. I didn't even ask the question. You volunteered volunteer the information. A lot of information. So now I'm, I'm asking you now. To me how you're so now I'm asking you now, Veronica. And it's showing. Is that a true statement that you and said it's showing? Me? And like I said, you must. Okay, we we done. We done. Thank we you. Done. We done. We done. We done. We done. Child, let me tell you something. The rules of this show. No videos come down, and I call nobody. You call me. Plain and simple. And there you have it. This is risky behavior. The behavior that is risky for today that we talked about was lying. It's risky because you may tell one lie that you think is a little lie. But if you're caught, you will destroy the trust that anybody has for you. No matter the relationship, be it a professional relationship, romantic, uh, platonic family you know so be careful with that because you'll you'll destroy your word and your word last time i checked is still one of the most important things that you can have being a person that your yes is your yes your no is your no you say what you mean you mean what you say and like ti son would say you stand on business Appreciate everybody for tuning in. Appreciate all the support. Um, again, tongue tied. Appreciate all the su support. <laughs> Make sure you like, share, follow, um, subscribe. Uh, most importantly, I love when y'all hit up the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this. Risky out. Risky behavior.